human prisoner. Dr. Zira glanced at Chuck through the bars with a gaze both tender and curious. She'd never looked at a human in such a way before. I guess I should mention that Dr. Zira is a pony scientist and that Chuck has crashed on this uh, faraway planet. Um, Dr. Zira approached the cage. They longingly looked into each other's eyes. She stepped closer. He reached out with his arm and stroked her muzzle. She rubbed her muzzle on his arm. On his arm. Trembling, her pony muzzle lips, pink and moist, moist, moved towards the man's stubbled man muzzle as his moved towards hers. Their interspecies tongues intertwined. <laughs> Chuck almost gagged on his pony love's huge wet pony tongue. He felt her equine teeth on his cheeks. He had his whole face in her mouth, and he was loving it. Pony saliva poured down his neck. His nipples hardened. His fingers became enmeshed in her silky mane. He tightly hugged her muscular neck and pulled her towards the bars. It was at this moment that Chuck first awoke from his dreams. His heart was beating heavily and he was soaked in sweat. He had a huge erection that he had been rubbing on Jane, his wife. Jane, already nudged awake by his magnificent manhood, took a firm and steady grip of his studly saddle horn and positioned herself all reverse cow style upon it. Not caring whether it was a piss hard on or not, she rode it for all it was worth. Married people with kids should always get it when they can, she reminded herself. As the sun's rays entered the room, the sun's rays. joined in the junk like that, sliding up and down on the old disco stick, Jane really loved her life and her husband. She went through her mental to-do checklist for the day as she approached her forced orgasm. Her eyes rolled back in her head. Meanwhile, breathing heavily, Chuck could not let go of the image of Dr. Zira's big anime eyes. The sexy lipstick, her sexy pony lips, and that lab coat all remained vivid in his mind. He wrapped his fingers in his wife's long hair, pretending that it was his dream lover's silky mane. He imagined what it might be like being belly to belly, making love with a pony. He had spent a lot of time trying to visualize the mechanics of how it might work. He watched his wife's ass bouncing up and down as he envisioned that he was fucking a hot, hot pony pussy. Thank you. I'm Vermin Supreme. That's from my new book, Blueprint for New America, available on um, iTunes, probably. Uh, try Amazon. Thank you. Woo! Yay, free ponies. Pony! I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll see some sales. <laughs> what did you guys think of this uh, book fest? Oh, the vulgar hill for you. Yeah. Uh, I guess you got two of your right? Well, I'm going to I'm selling it for you. And you're staying down here and uh, no contract. And you can now form a as well. Oh. So,